Chapter 15 A Christ Like Work. In caring for the children, we should not work from the standpoint of duty merely, but from love, because Christ died for their salvation. Christ has purchased these souls who need our care, and He expects us to love them as He has loved us in our sins and waywardness. Love is the agency through which God works to draw the heart to Him, for God is love. In every enterprise of mercy, this principle alone can give efficiency. The finite must unite with the infinite. This work for others will require effort, self-denial, and self-sacrifice. But what is the little sacrifice that we can make in comparison with the sacrifice which God has made for us in the gift of His only begotten Son? God imparts His blessing to us that we may impart to others. When we ask Him for our daily bread, He looks into our hearts to see if we will share the same with those more needy than ourselves. When we pray, God be merciful to me, a sinner, He watches to see if we will manifest compassion toward those with whom we associate. This is the evidence of our connection with God, that we are merciful even as our Father in heaven is merciful. God is always giving. And upon whom are His gifts bestowed? Upon those who are faultless in character? Matthew 5, 45 says, He maketh His Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Notwithstanding the sinfulness of humanity, notwithstanding that we so often grieve the heart of Christ and prove ourselves most undeserving, yet when we ask His forgiveness, He does not turn us away. His love is freely extended to us, and He bids us, Love one another as I have loved you, John thirteen thirty four. Brethren and sisters, I ask you to consider this matter carefully. Think of the wants of the fatherless and motherless. Are not your hearts stirred as you witness their sufferings? See if something cannot be done for the care of these helpless ones. As far as lies in your power, make a home for the homeless. Let everyone stand ready to act a part in helping forward this work. The Lord said to Peter, Feed my lambs. This command is to us, and by opening our homes for the orphans, we aid in its fulfillment. Let not Jesus be disappointed in you. Take these children and present them to God as a fragrant offering. Ask His blessing upon them, and then mold and fashion them according to Christ's order. Will our people accept this holy trust? Because of our shallow piety and worldly ambition, shall those for whom Christ has died be left to suffer, to go in wrong paths? The Word of God abounds with instruction as to how we should treat the widow, the fatherless, and the needy, suffering poor. If all would obey this instruction, the widow's heart would sing for joy, hungry little children would be fed, the destitute would be clothed, and those ready to perish would be revived. Heavenly intelligences are looking on, and when, imbued with zeal for Christ's honor, we place ourselves in the channel of God's providence, these heavenly messengers will impart to us a new spiritual power so that we shall be able to combat difficulties and triumph over obstacles. And what a blessing would reward the workers! To many who are now indolent, selfish, and self-centered, it would be as life from the dead, there would be among us a revival of heavenly charity and wisdom and zeal.